Um, we making food. <laughs> We're making chicken enchilada pasta. Chicken and one on a pasta. <laughs> okay, and now. Okay, I'm supposed to tell you a secret in your ear. Okay, we need pasta. Pasta. But you're not supposed to whisper it because we're supposed to tell you're them. You're supposed to whisper pasta. Pasta. Onion. Onion. Cheese. Cheese. Diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. And jalada sauce. And so, jalada sauce. <laughs> Garlic. Garlic. Taco seasoning. Taco seasoning. Water. Water. And chicken breasts. Chicken breasts. <laughs> We're going to uh, dice those. And, then and we got a water. oven. And oven. We're going to make this in our Instapot. Instapot. All right, so we have our Instapot here. We're going to put it on saute. And then we are going to take our onions, which we're going to use about one cup of onion and we're going to start cooking the onion. Okay, I did put a little bit of oil in there and then we're gonna add our one cup I can of do it. onion. All right, so our onion is nice and sauteed and we're going to add in two cloves of garlic and then cook it for an additional minutes. All right, so now the garlic and onions are, are uh, nice and cooked. We are going to add in our can of diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Diced tomatoes. We're going to add in our enchilada sauce. Mmm, so yummy. Mmm. We're going to add in our packet of taco seasoning. And taco our seasoning. cup and a quarter of water. Okay, so I've added the taco seasoning and water in there, and then we have stirred it up. It now it we are going to add in our pasta. All right, so we're adding in three cups of pasta. Good job. Okay, so I've added in the chicken, and we're going to stir I it around it. a little bit. We're going to put on the lid. Okay, we're going to set it for high pressure for four minutes. And then we're going to do a quick pressure release when it's done. So we'll be back. All right, so it's done. So we're doing a quick release. Once that's done, we'll open her up. And we're going to cook on saute for a few minutes until the pasta is tender, if it's not tender when we open it up. All right, so it is done. So we're gonna open her up and check out the pasta. Let's see if we are at a spot. Let's see if the pasta is done. like it's close. We'll let it kick it over to saute and let it saute for a minute or two just to make sure that our pasta is done. Just be sure when you're sauteing just that you keep stirring. You don't want it to burn on the uh, bottom. Then we're going to pour this into a baking dish and put it under the broiler gonna top it with cheese and put it under the broiler for a few minutes just to brown the cheese and brown everything all right so there we have it in our cast iron baking dish and we are going to take our Mexican style cheese and cover it
Well, there we go. It may overflow when we uh, put it in the oven. So we're going to put it in the broil or in the oven under the broiler for a few minutes to get everything burnt nice and brown. So we're going to do that. The recipe says put it in the broiler until it is brown and crispy. So it's probably going to overflow and melt cheese all over our uh, oven, but eh, live and learn, I guess. We'll see. Let's take a look. Oh man, that looks delicious. Mm. Give it a couple more minutes. All right, there we go. Didn't take long at all. Nice and golden brown. So we are going to uh, serve this out and see how well it tastes. It smells amazing though. All right, so we found the chicken enchilada pasta. It was delicious. Um, it was a little spicy, and I think that was because the uh, diced tomatoes I used were the original and not mild. So I think that added a little bit too much spice for my daughter, um, but I thought it was really good. My wife thought it really was really good. We'd make it again, but we'd probably uh, try to get it a little less spicy, maybe use mild next time. Um, but yeah, it's really good, really easy, so I highly recommend you try it. And let us know in the description below how you guys make it. It says top with your favorite topping, so you can put some sour cream, uh, a little bit more cheese, uh, onions, whatever you want on top of it. Um, but we just had it without any toppings, and it was delicious. So uh, give it a try. Let us know what you think in the description down below. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.